Hey, what's happening guys? Sorry about the handhold, but it's too big to fit on my desk. Today we're going to put together this robotic arm edge wired remote control robotic arm kit. Yeah, I know you're saying, so what? That's not very interesting. Well, this part isn't. But once we build it, we're going to tear it apart. We're not going to tear it apart, but we're going to get into it. And then we're going to find out exactly how we can hook it up to an Arduino. And then we'll have some fun with it. So, I suspect a high-speed building montage is on the way. I know. I'm breaking the guy code. I'm looking through an instruction manual. But, I'm not really reading the instruction manual. I just want to look through it and see if there's anything pertinent. Tools we may need. Pliers, cutters, screwdrivers, D batteries. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Plastic parts. Yeah, well, that's all plastic parts. Assemble some gear boxes. Put some motors in some gear boxes. Okay. So far, I don't see anything too difficult here. M2, blue, black. M3, blue, black, orange, black, orange, black. White, black, black, black. All right. Do, 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 do. Important. A and B must be the same distance to the central. Right on. Finished product, wired control box. Gripper motion, elbow motion, searchlight. How it works. Wired control box, excellent. So we got, uh, got some diagrams as to what switches operate what exactly. That's very good. I just want to look up here at the beginning. Uh, some parts list here. We got lots of plastic parts, and these are these are some looks like some substantial wall thickness on these. Just a quick measure. It's like about two millimeter thickness. So I'm gonna look at the connectors here. Okay. Well, we can definitely build this. So what do you say? That's what we do.
right, so here is the circuit board. You can see it's pretty simple. We have a ground connection here, M5, M1 through 4, LED, battery, and then our controller. There's no ICs, just some traces. So that should be pretty easy to deal with. All right, so there she is all nice and built. I didn't put on the prettiness cap because we're going to get into the electronics and do some stuff. So here's the controls. We have a horizontal rotating movement. We have this arm. We have this one. Now I got old batteries in here, so she ain't particularly fast. And we have our pincher. Here, let me move that. You guys get a better view of the pincher. I gotta tell you, I'm, <clears throat> I'm pretty impressed with the engineering in this stuff. And it does seem to be relatively solid, you know. And the range of movement is excellent. But what we care about is this stuff right in here. So what we've got is where this control plugs in. And if we look at the control, we have one, two, three, four, five, six controls. And then if we count here, we have one, two, three, four, five. Whoops, I missed counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wires here. So, what we're going to need to do in the next part of the video is get the scope on here, make some movements with the control, and figure out which pins go to where and what kind of signal they're doing and how the reversing is working because there are no ICs in this anywhere. Once that's done, we should be able to take this guy and interface it with an Arduino or a Pi or whatever we want. And that's the plan because once we can do that, we can really have some fun. We can program it to do all sorts of fun stuff. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. And a big thank you to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.